hello guys hope you're all okay and you're all enjoying your life and watching my videos uh, as you all know that uh, i'm discussing these days and i'm uploading videos regarding the intracranial tumors and uh, i have uh, discussed all at length about the intracranial tumors but one of the tumor which is related to the nerve sheath so that part is left so i'm going to start on the nerve sheath tumor and among them the first and the commonest one is the schwannoma as you all know that all cranial nerves apart from two having its own nerve sheath only uh, cranial number one and which is olfactory and cranial number two which is optic nerve these both nerve doesn't possess the uh, uh, what i would say the sheath around them so there is no uh, nerve sheath around these two the rest of uh, cranial nerves possess the nerve sheath so schwannoma if it arises from the nerve sheath that is quite common so the one most important thing is equestic neuroma equestic neuroma is the the tumor which involves the cranial number eight vestibulo cochlear nerve and that is the superior division of the vestibulo cochlear nerve the another vestibular schwannoma uh, for the detection of the vestibular schwannoma it is recommended that the mr is the best modality and the second thing is it in expanded the internal auditory meatus so uh, and particularly give us to a, um, a significant uh, characteristic of ice cream shape ice cream shape like um, internal auditory meatus will look like a cone and main internal tumor will look like the scoop so it will give rise to a ice cream appearance one another point worth noting here that the bilateral schwannoma will always be associated with uh, neurofibromatosis type 2 how it will appear on the uh, ct images and mr images and how we will document that how we will narrate that and how we will diagnose that let's start watching these images on this CT image, you can appreciate the vestibular schwannoma and this is contrast enhanced axial CT imaging and you can appreciate enhancing mass with cystic uh, changes and here down it has also compressed the fourth ventricle. So this how will the vestibular schwannoma will appear on the CT images. Uh, however, the MRI images happens to be entirely sensitive than the ct scan so it is best to uh, be seen on the mr for the confirmed diagnosis of uh, a particular appearance of ice cream cone appearance another axial plane ct image and the same patient you can appreciate that there is dilated temporal horn of the lateral ventricle it has pushed the forward ventricle backward and this is a iso dense mass with cystic changes so this is what on the non-contrast images the vestibular schwannoma will look like on the contrast uh, ct images you can appreciate that this is again uh, another example of vestibular schwannoma it appears to be hyper intense with internal cystic changes so uh, however you cannot see the exact uh, ice cream cone appearance on the ct images on this MR images uh, towards the uh, left side you can see that there is a large size schwannoma so this is exact place of the schwannoma and you will be able to see that on MR images very clearly. Here on this uh, image and this axial slice you can appreciate that there is a, a schwannoma and here you can see along the tentorium infratentorial region so this is what the place of the schwannoma is here this is a classical appearance of the schwannoma on the mr image where you can see this is ice cream cone appearance so ice cream cone appearance uh, will especially be seen on the mr images so uh, for the tumor is concerned it uh, will present as an scoop and so far that uh, vestibular area is concerned that will be considered as an ice cream cone another beautiful example of the ice cream cone appearance of the schwannoma on the mr images towards the left side so this is uh, actually benign slow growing new plasm and arising from the schwann cells of the nerve sheath
So this was all about the slow growing benign neoplasm of the uh, Schwann cells of the nerve sheet known as a Schwannoma and uh, you have already seen that uh, uh, how it will appear on the CT images and there is a particular appearance on the MR images MR is much more sensitive than the CT and it will give rise to an ice cream cone appearance so uh, this was all about the Schwannoma I do hope this would be a beneficial video for you uh, keep watching my video and with some other new video we'll see each other till then take great care of yourself and thank you very much all